We're at the epic return of Starman, except this time around, the action is less than satisfactory. Released in 1965, this is the continuing adventures of the Japanese superhero, created on a super low budget and re-edited for American television. I already reviewed Evil Brain from Outer Space, a mashup of the last three Supergiant movies dubbed in English. If you haven't seen it, go check it out for more history about this series, but basically, nine Japanese movies were compiled into to four American movies. Attack from Space consists of the fifth and sixth installments, and just like Evil Brain from Outer Space, this one feels extremely outdated. Also, why is this one just Attack from Space and the other one was Evil Brain from Outer Space? Is space and outer space different? This also begins with the Emerald Planet, a council comprised of godlike beings in Halloween costumes who send Starman to save Earth. He manages to stop a space shuttle from sending explosives, but in the meantime, the Sephirians kidnap a scientist to take his own spaceship and while threatening his children as blackmail. It's about as simple as you can get, and simplicity is something that I can appreciate from these movies. What I don't appreciate is that Starman himself is barely in the movie. It feels repetitive from the beginning. There's essentially two instances of a space shuttle being used to destroy the planet, and the reasoning for this is that the footage used for this movie was comprised of two different movies that were already so similar in plot and utilized a lot of the same sets and costumes. Unlike Evil Brain from Outer Space, which was so wacky being comprised of three completely different stories. So with that, the cheesy excitement I got from the last movie just isn't here this time around. Starman only shows up at the beginning and towards the end, and while there's some cool choreography with the fights, the zaniness is minimal. There's a couple cool things that happen here and there though. The kids go to a cemetery and find that the secret lair entrance is through a tomb, which is extremely creepy. A businessman goes to warn the government about the Earth's impending doom. This is all shot pretty well, and who is this suited figure? Well, he transforms into Starman! Okay, I didn't see that coming. There's Nazi space soldiers, and at one point, the daughter goes all off on them with a gun. Now, that's awesome. For the most part, though, it's just pretty boring. Too many conversations, and all we see is Starman flying around, listening. This isn't exactly what I was expecting from something that should be an action-packed serial. Whereas Evil Brain from Outer Space is Superman the movie, this one is definitely Superman Returns. The costumes are terrible, and the dialogue is boring, and the ending is ruined since it's a repeat of the beginning. It's coherent at least, but after seeing the Evil Brain movie, I guess I was expecting something more fun. Don't watch this. Thank you for watching the video. A special thanks to Movie Johnson, Ryan, and Lucas for supporting me on Patreon. If you'd like to be like them and get exclusive access to content and blogs and even request reviews monthly, please click on the Patreon link and thanks for your support.